Jalen Roberson. With that, let me introduce to you our own number 44 and your new head football coach, Trent Bray. As I said, number 44. There you are, buddy. Quite the entrance there. Beaver fans, it's official for just the 32nd time in school history. Oregon State football has a new head coach at the helm. Meet Trent Bray. The former Beaver linebacker is now a head coach after more than a decade with the program. KEZI 9 sports reporter Brett Taylor is joining us now live in studio to explain a little bit more on how Bray became the next Beaver head coach and what stood out during today's press conference. Brett, what can you tell us? Yeah, Ariel, it's pretty interesting how sometimes these things play out. Just a few days ago, I mean, Oregon State was still looking for its new head coach with Jonathan Smith leaving of course the team without a head coach and now all of a sudden they've got a new head coach at the helm you know, like many other coordinators on this team Bray was asked to join him in East Lansing but instead he decided to stay put telling the media and Beaver Nation today he wouldn't be anywhere else except for Corvallis he kept true to his words dating back all the way to last season when other teams were looking to recruit him Bray is a beaver through and through and during today's press conference he gave us a little glimpse into some of the reasons why he felt like this was the right time for him to step up I think real leaders show up when times are hard and we're, we're in a, a little bit of a tough situation with, with everything that's happened over the last year in college football. And to me, that made it so much more important that I, that I step in the fight and help this place. Now, despite being introduced as the new head coach for Oregon State football, Bray will not actually be on the sidelines of the Beavers' upcoming bowl game here in just a couple of weeks. I'll explain why coming up tonight on KZI 9 News at 5. Ariel?